Up next, we have uh, Davina uh, Kanoe, uh, CEO and co-founder of Element Apothic. Yeah. I'm just getting everything ready. We can hear you just fine. Yeah, it looks All like right. the screen is coming up right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi, how is everybody doing today? So I'm Davina, the CEO and co-founder of Element Apothic. Element Apothic is really a new disruptive brand in the CBD space, meeting the needs of today's conscious consumer, bringing the intersection of the need for clean beauty and wellness products into the CBD space. And our mission is really to enrich lives by creating clean, safe, and effective products, combining science with the healing power of nature. And as you can see, my story with the plant started a long time ago. I grew up in realizing the benefits of this plant early on. My dad was a Vietnam veteran and would tell me pakalolo, as they call it in Hawaii, without it, that he couldn't leave the house, that he couldn't sleep. And so I've always believed in the medicinal values of the plant. And today I'm so excited to be bringing Element Apothic. We were born in a kitchen, not a lab. And when my aunt was diagnosed with several medical conditions, she realized that the she needed to put in and on her body were not meeting her needs. She went on a mission to understand plant-based medicine, cannabis, and everything that could possibly help her. Today, we're bringing those products that she created, over 40 custom formulations that helped herself and countless others from the kitchen into the world. The problem is, is that most consumers today don't know who or what to trust. As we all know, CBD holds a lot of promise, but so many brands are not living up to it. Personal care products are filled with toxins and harmful ingredients. There are low quality products flooding the market, not just in CBD, but in the personal care space with little to no transparency. Many products have no oversight, and there's often an absence of ingenuity with minimal product variation with so many white labeled products on the market. The solution is Element Apothic, the trustworthy brand that conscious consumers are demanding. We're bringing clean and safe products to the market with complete transparency. All of our formulations have been reformulated with medical and scientific oversight, and we're using other phytocannabinoids, not just CBD, but CBG and CBN into the mix of our products to make them as effective as possible. Our never ever promise means that we will never ever use any harmful or toxic ingredients in the products we create. And that's really important to today's consumer. Not only are we bringing great products, but we're committed to providing consumer education as well. We've assembled a team of over 60 years relevant experience in the CPG, e-commerce space, as well in the medical cannabis space. This includes Dr. Swathi, who is our chief science officer, is also an integrative pharmacist and works with universities across the U.S. introducing cannabis into traditional pharmacology for students to incorporate that. We also have our chief medical advisor, Dr. Marvin Singh, who's a dual certified medical integrative doctor to provide that medical oversight that is really needed in this space today. And how does Element Apothic stack up? We know there are hundreds of companies in this space, but we truly feel that we are meeting the needs of today's consumer. And the market opportunity, as, as everybody here knows, is, is huge. It's expected to grow to $16 billion by 2022. But not only are we focused on the CBD market and hemp-based market, we really tap into the wellness market with a $3.5 trillion market reach in this space. So we feel we're positioned to have an incredible opportunity. We're, we do have aggressive financial plans, but we expect that we will be able to meet those and far exceed those with an omni-channel sales approach direct to consumer as well as B2B and also licensing some of the formulations that we have. We have um, hit several milestones to date. We are ready to launch with six products. We're beginning our online sales in the next 30 days. We do have several retail commitments already including a new store called Showcase by Cal Ethos. We've also received CERT Clean certification already and are working on other certifications. And we've established key partnerships, including Tag One for transparency, showing all of our ingredients from the beginning all the way until it gets into the consumer's hands. 
We are currently raising $500,000 as a convertible note and anybody can invest from $100 all the way up to $107,000. You may be asking yourself, why Element Apothic, especially in a market that has so many other brands? It's trust, plain and simple. Invest now and join us on our journey to set a new standard for clean science. Element Apothic, never ever anything but good. Perfect timing. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, judges, you can feel free to ask away. Davina, may I ask you a question? Yes. <laughs> Just checking to see if you can hear me. So one thing you um, recognize right off the bat is how to establish is that you have a huge issue with consumer trust. How do you think you can establish consumer trust against brands such as Aveda, which have uh, a pretty good reputation in the marketplace or any other established brand where folks have come to trust that brand? I mean, I think a lot of it is through education. We're already starting that with our social media and influencers, but also building the team with a focus on medical and science education and background to provide the insight. And, and really, it comes down to consumer awareness because I think people, especially consumers, don't understand all of the ingredients that they're putting in and on their body and educating people. And there's over 1,400 toxic ingredients that are banned in Europe and Canada that are allowed here in personal care products that people use every single day. And so a lot of that is really educating people in terms of how to read your labels, how do you know what products are trustworthy or not trustworthy, and how do we elevate not just the CBD space, but have higher requirements for the personal care space in general. A follow-up question. So you put a lot of uh, stock in education. Do you have an education plan beyond social media platforms? Yes, we do. We actually are um, just got started a show on a, on a channel called Razzle um, that we're going to be, it's a cannabis network doing a show called Contemporary cannabis and a lot of that is really educating not just on cannabis and CBD but just in terms of ingredients and, and products in general. Uh, we are assembling a team of writers to build out a knowledge base as well um, and not depending just on social media but utilizing that as an access point to disseminate information. I have, I have a follow-up to what Sherry just asked. Um, as someone who is in the medical field by trade and still invest in medical companies, they have a uh, qualified CEUs right now for CBD education. Um, and for your raise, one, are you targeting any type of medical practitioners? And two, for the education, are you gonna do what some other CBD companies are doing and trying to get some certified CEUs to offer physicians and other healthcare uh, practitioners? It's something that we started to consider and explore. We haven't looked at it in terms of that much depth, but it's definitely something that we have kind of put on to the, the thought process in terms of how do we actually elevate ourselves in the educational, medical, and scientific aspects of it. Um, so again, it's not something that we've actually done yet, but it is something that we are exploring at this point. Where, where do you manufacture this and how, how do you scale it? Um, and great presentation. Yes. Right. So our, um, our manufacturer is based in Utah. Um, we have a capacity to scale um, as, as large as we, we need. We can produce from a thousand products to several thousand products a day if needed to be able to meet the demands of the consumer as well as with our 3PL um, shipping and logistics facility as well. Thank you, Davina. Can you just do me a favor and unshare your screen? Uh, and then uh, we have time for one last quick question. Hey, this is Frank said. I, I have a question, Davina. A great presentation. Uh, I do know that with uh, with anything within the health and beauty space, it's obviously very intensive capital wise for marketing. Uh, and your guys are asking for half a million dollars. Um, how do you guys plan to deploy that, taking the marketing into um, into account? Yeah, we've already started to put together a pretty um, strong marketing plan. We're working with a current marketing agency. Um, now and so a big portion of the raise actually is going specifically to marketing because we understand 
that in order to create a presence that we need to invest a lot in that aspect. Um, and so that will continue. We expect that the 500,000 will last us approximately six months for our runway. Um, and at that point, needing to go back and raise an alar a larger um, you know, raise um, as we need to scale both in product innovation, R&D, as well as uh, marketing. Great. What was the name of the marketing company again? Uh, we're working with uh, Circle Media Marketing um, for now, but we're looking to expand um, as well and talking to a, a couple other companies specifically in the cannabis space that understand some of the challenges that we are currently facing with advertising.